May 5th, 1988. Still working. I'm actually going to apply power to try and get that tape out of there. What was it? Alan Parsons Pyramid and iRobot on the other side. It was a 90 minute cassette tape. So you get two albums on there. <clears throat> Time for an upgrade. It was popping and doing sort of speaker-like things, I thought, with the sound. But it turned out it was the deck. And the speakers that I took out... Can't do that. Six by nines. I put some Kenwood in there. And I got this deck about a year and a half ago for the K10. And I ended up getting a different one and figured that I would give this one up and put it in the camper. And I thought, okay, well, let's put it in the S10, but that's as far in as it goes. So there's a three quarters of an inch too long. <clears throat> so you have to get, um, Pioneer makes one. It's called a uh, short chassis stereo and they're 130-ish online. I think I got mine for 99 and um, off of eBay. It was actually $30 cheaper on eBay than it was on Amazon this time. So I saved 35 bucks or whatever. And uh, it's the only one available. It's, it's a shallow draft. I, I'm not sure the dimensions right now, but it's, it's about this deep versus, you know, that deep. Um, and it's got all the bells and whistles on it, Bluetooth and everything. Same with this USB port. Um, sorry. I need two hangs, man. I need to do it with my right hand. Left hand's like a girl. Anyways, this is... Would you shut up? So... <clears throat> this is going back in the camper now because this doesn't fit in here. And then I'm more modern in there. I can hook up my iPod, you know, lots of info on that, tons of songs, but, you know, it actually doesn't sound too bad, these speakers aren't, weren't the problem, these would be the GM speakers, uh, Anyways, they still sound okay. I'm not gonna run an amp or anything on this, so. But, it's getting these covers off here. I got my hooky tool. It's for installing windshields and stuff. It actually works pretty good in here. You know, you gotta imagine It's 29 years old and plastic gets brittle as you know with UVs that one's still stuck people putting their coffees up in the dash or whatever beers pop it's
Oh, jeez. Anyways, that's a two-hander for sure. Ah, there it goes. A little stash up there. The vacuum for sure. Okay, so then we got uh, four fasteners holding the speaker down. That's molded right onto the speaker cover there. You know those tin nuts. <sighs> okay, well my JBLs will sound better than this. Beauty. I wasn't sure if the dash had to come off in order to get the speakers or not because I think I looked at this earlier. So okay, see it's got the hookies. The hookies there. Hook a maru there. The two there that go up against the windshield, right? And Put the JBLs on there, see what she sounds like. As you can see, there's a notable difference there in depth. Uh, I'd say yeah, half an inch, maybe five eighths deeper. Plus it's wider. And I had to uh, practically drill four new holes here in the speaker in the speaker flange there and make it adapt to the S10's grill and a lot more than that too you can see that I had to burn off with no butter knife just heated it up and hogged away the housing there that houses the instruments and the blue is the blue is the very top corner of the instrument panel and i think i got it now let's check it out Just so <laughs> if you're not into butchering, don't get JBLs. Oh, I had it there a second ago. There we go. I can I can suck that down. That down. And that's that's there we go. <laughs> oh man, is it worth it? Yeah, but J JBLs, man. Oh man, you gotta like them. Oh yeah, GTOs. I like the racing stripe too. Whoa, just squeaked it in. It's actually just a little bit higher. On that side. That side should go in okay, I'm hoping. That's acceptable. Alright, it's raining too bad here. I'll do another, do it another day. and have his din dins, eh?